Hi friends, Ananda again. So, um, so today um, I'm going to talk about the the Angular Material Stepper and Dialog Dialog Box, like a pop-up box. So there are two things I'm going to show you guys how I made the Dialog Box as well as the uh, the Stepper. So let's see what is the Dialog first. So search Dialog over here. So this is the pop-ups and models. So dialog is kind of a pop-up box. Like if you want to write multiple stuff, so you can see some overviews over here. Like so, this is like a basic dialog, and uh, if you scroll down. This is like you know injecting data from the parent uh, panel, and then this one is kind of a header and scrollable content and actions. So this is mo most likely like a dynamic dialog so I'm gonna use a dynamic dialog and uh, so when we click some uh, button it will open the dialog pop-up button and then uh, in the dialog pop-up button we will have the stepper so stepper is kind of like a progress bar so um, again the steppers if you scroll over here it's under the layout so steppers are like you know like this so like you can so you can there are like three sections, so you can uh, finish one section, fill out your name, and then the second section, like fill out your address, and then final section will be like done. And if you want to go back, something like this. So these are the two items we are going to uh, see today. So again, this is my application with the Angular application. So I just uh, finished the login. So this is the login. I just created like a login, and then this is a sign up pop up button. Sign up pop up box I had just created like uh, sign up first name, last name, email, mobile number, password, confirm password, and then if you click login, it will again come back to login. And then if you click about us, this is kind of a, like a, a page not found. So because I don't have any router for this about us um, uh, URL, and this is contact us, this is find your motorbike, this is still under construction, this is your motorbike. So this is kind of if you want to list your motorbike, um, like kind of Turo, you know, uh, I hope you, you guys are aware of the Turo uh, website, so where you can uh, share your car. So I'm doing a similar app for motorcycles. So if you want a motorcycle, you can share your motorcycle with your friends and relatives. So, uh, so this is a BMW racer motorcycle. And then here there is a button uh, to click list your bike. If you click this button, so we will open a pop-up window, it's scrollable and uh, with some stepper. So this is the stepper and uh, you can see the contact details, it's go, it goes on like this, and then something like this. I have like uh, like eight, eight steps and then if you click save, it will close. So let's show you how I made. So first step is when you click your motorbike, the URL over here is list your motorcycle. So the main application here is the um, the routing model module. So whenever you see list your motorcycle, so this is where we see list your motorcycle. So if you click find your motorcycle, it will be find by. But if you click your motorcycle, the URL will be list your motorcycle. So if the path is list your M cycle, then the component will be your list yours component. And then this list your components will be from list yours dash list yours dot component. So if you want to see that list yours, so this is the list yours and uh, this is the component name uh, list yours dot component. And then if you see over here the components, uh, this is the component. And this is the component template URL, uh, list yours component.html. So if you open the list yours component.html, you will see a button. And then that button is nothing but list your bike. And uh, that's what you are seeing over here. And then uh, this is an image, you know, it's, this is a BMW uh, motorcycle image. So this is like under assets. So you need to go outside of your directory and then you need, you need to find assets. So assets are over here and under asset uh, BMW MC dash PNG. So this is the image. Um, so we're just loading over there and then come back to the 
um, to the list your page, list your component. So this is the image you can see over here. This is the image you see, and this is the button, and and this is what the button. So I just use some customized uh, uh, CSS. Uh, the class name of the CSS is list dash button, and then you can find that CSS in the list dash yours dot component dot scss so this is the button list button and uh, you can see over here um, so display flex justify content and uh, if you click over here the button class is y dash b so your bike or something like that so your bike these are the css i'm using so that's why you're seeing some uh, green color over here okay so when we click we should call some JavaScript function. Uh, so if you click on this specific HTML file, we call the open list your bike model. So that's this specific uh, function, JavaScript function, is in the list your component.ts. So you can see over here, list your uh, bike model, the model of the function. So we need these classes or modules to, to open an uh, Angular Material dialog. So in order to, the first step is we need to um, import this Material dialog, Material dialog reference, and if you want to inject some data, then you need to import the mat underscore dialog underscore data, and then if you want to configure this Material dialog, then you need to import the Material dialog config. So before using in your component, First, you need to go to your app's main module, which is the um, app app.module.ts. So there, first we need to import all these guys. So if you click, you see over here. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Okay, let's see. So this is the material dialog module we have imported, and then this is the material stepper module. And both of them should have been, this is the material stepper model we just imported from Angular material, and then material dialog model over here. So I think we don't need two different stuff. We will remove this guy, and then we will keep it the material dialog over here, and then we will simply format this nicely. Okay, we format it. Then let's see what's going on over here. Okay, okay. So we this is the first step. Like you, know, you need to import the material dialog. First, we will talk about material dialog. Then we will go back to the stepper. So the material dialog module, and then you need to import the same material dialog under the imports in the ng module. So once we import it, then it should be available to use in the um, in the component. So for the dialog, we need to have one more component. It's not a component actually. Yeah, it's, it is a component. So this is the pop-up, uh, the dialog component. So what I did is like, whenever we click the, that button to open the, the, the dialog box, what we are doing here is uh, first we are creating an object for the material dialog config. And in this component, we are passing the material dialog. We are injecting the material dialog as an input. So this is the in material dialog, and this is the dialog, which is the reference variable or whatever. So using this reference variable, we are doing this dot dialog, this material dialog dot open. So we are trying to open a material dialog, and then in that material dialog, we are passing the dialog content list your bike component. So this is the one nothing but this guy over here. So this is one more component we are passing. So this is the main component for the the, the dialog module. Um, so and then we are passing the material dialog config. So this is what the config. So the material dialog config class we are we are assigning to a constant class, and then we are setting some properties like you know we are setting some width to thousand pixels, and then we are passing all the stuff into the this dot dialog and then opening. And once it's open, we are assigning the dialog into a dialog reference and then 
we are just writing some uh, like events to subscribe what's going on after the dialog got closed. So this is what happening. So if you if you come down, so this is the actual uh, dialog component for the pop-up window, and uh, here nothing special. So we're just using the uh, material dialog reference, and then uh, the type of the material dialog reference is the the class name itself, and that's it. And uh, yeah, so if you click, sorry. So that's it. If you click, so it will automatically open the material dialog button, and then if you click cancel, it will close the dialog button. And uh, we will come to the step up stepper next. So for the stepper, so once you can see that this is the HTML, right? So the HTML is list your bike model .html. So this is the HTML list your bike model .html. So you need to have this material dialog title. Which is this list your bike? So you can you can see like I'll change this to some animal or something like that. So, so you can see this is the material dialog dialog. So this has got changed it, and you should have this um, dialog title. And then the main thing is material dialog content, and uh, and the next thing is the stepper. The stepper is similar. Like you know we need to import the uh, the stepper module, like material stepper module, uh, you need to import uh, into the ng module uh, for your application. So once you import it, you should be able to use it. And the same stuff over here for the stepper. So this is the actual dialog uh, box, pop up box. So you just need to use this material vertical stepper, and then we need to define each step. Like this is the step one. This is step two, this is like step three, blah, blah, blah. I just copied and pasted uh, same stuff over and over and again. And then you can see over here the, the, the button, the next button. So there is a class or attribute you can pass as material stepper next. So it, it will automatically have a button as uh, next button. So that's what we have over here. So this is stepper. And then if you click next, it automatically goes to the next step. So we don't have a back button. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy this guy. And then, um, for example, let me see the back over here. So this is the actual uh, attribute for the back. And let's keep this as back go back okay so this is where is your motorbike located and you can see the back button over here and mobile number blah blah so if you click back it automatically goes to the stepper one and then this is a vertical stepper so if you want to have a horizontal stepper so instead of vertical you just need to horizontal and the same stuff under here, like instead of vertical stepper, just need to have like horizontal stepper. Let's see, there you go. So next, 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 and cancel. That's it, guys. So uh, that's how I made this. Um, pop up the material dialog and uh, steppers over here. So what I'm gonna do, let me revert back to the vertical. So, to be easy for you guys. So this is vertical. And you can see all these um, documents in the Angular material. Um, so thanks for watching.